No Hector Harold for today's game for the men after injuring his foot in a loss to Harvard, so they'd have to move on without him. Looking for some other guys that could step up. One of those guys could be Brendan Kilpatrick. The basket gives Vermont their first lead of the game. They would be down by one, though. Trey Bell Haynes, the freshman. He had a good Canada trip. He had a good day today. Drives, gets a shot to fall. Catamounts back in front. The Hawks would keep the leads coming back their way. The three ball from Marcus Burton. He knocked down a game high 22 points. Dre Wills can hit threes as well, though. Puts the Cats up 14 13 early on. Still six minutes to play in the first half. Let's go to the second. UVM looking to extend the lead now to double digits, pulling away a bit. Bell Haynes, a team high 16. Like I said, he had a good day. And like I said, Wills can hit from the outside. How about we go to his inside game? Yeah, throwing down. He would be a. He would be called for a technical after, but no big whoop because, well, they're up by a lot at that point. Brennan Hatton getting in on the highlights. The floater falls for two of his ten points off the bench. And then, with time winding down on the shot clock, Mr. WPTZ play of the week, Cam Ward, hits as the buzzer sounds after a slow start to the game. Vermont is able to pull away enough to get their fifth win of the year. Excited about the win today, especially the way the game started. We were able to kind of weather the storm with good defense. A lot of, you know, some different guys really were, were key tonight. The good part about it was the defense was there for most of the game, and we're more concerned about the defense than, than we are the offense. And as long as the defense is there, we're good. Next up, the Catamounts, a home game with Yale on Thursday.